so in the book, what we try to do is to um, share stories that both teachers and parents and other school staff have shared with us that are examples of powerful partnerships. So for example, Eileen shares a story in the beginning of the book about Jorge, and we, we've changed the names of the students, obviously. But she talks about how when Jorge came into her classroom, how he was not reading at grade level. He was, in fact, well, well behind that. Um, and with the collaboration with his mom, who came to, I guess, the parent-teacher conference in tears. And I guess Jorge was with him. They were in tears because they both realized that he was behind. And so Eileen talked to the mom about, you know, what are some of the things that you're already doing? What are things you can tell me about Jorge? How can we work together in partnership to try to, to get him where he needs to be around his reading? Well, lo and behold, because of the relationship that they built, the way that they shared information, the way that Eileen was able to uh, share with mom about what are some of the things that you could be doing at home? And the mom was able to share her knowledge of her son with Eileen. And I think that's really important because when we talk about partnership, partnerships are reciprocal, they're two-way. And I think too many times in schools what we do is we talk at our families and we don't listen to what they have to say about their children. They have all this wonderful, what Debbie Pusher would call parent knowledge that we need as educators to do our jobs. And so through this partnership, lo and behold, by the end of the year, you know, Jorge was be able to read was able to read. You know, he was he was making progress, he was excited, and mom really feel, felt that her role had shifted in terms of how she was able to help support her child's learning. So that's just one of the many examples we have in the book because we thought it was really important for for people reading the book to, to hear the voices of parents and teachers and and, and others uh, to show that Yes, this can happen to give people hope that they can actually replicate and execute some of these strategies in their own classrooms. Mm -hmm.